Blizzard are proud to present to you the Mole Machine 2000 with a recharge time of only 30 minutes. This amazing device will let you speedily tunnel to other locations. Now I know what you're thinking. We already have those. Well, the Mole Machine 2000 can tunnel right under the ocean onto selected locations within the Broken Isles and even Kalimdor. Not special enough? Well, the Mole Machine 2000 can also tunnel you under the ocean and then up through thick ice into the frozen wastes of Northrend. But even that's pedestrian for this amazing device. The Mole Machine 2000 can even tunnel across space to other worlds with locations on Outland. Still not impressed? Well, how about this then? This marvellous machine of magnificence can not only tunnel through rock, ice and space, but through time and even more dimensions. Yes, the Mole Machine 2000 could even tunnel you to alternate Drenor 30 years ago and all in the blink of an eye. So what are you waiting for? Get the Mole Machine 2000 while stocks last. The Mole Machine is only available to dark end doors. Terms and conditions apply. So the Dark Iron Dwarves get a very interesting racial that you can place a mole machine with a 30 minute cooldown and it will teleport you to other mole machines around lots of zones as long as you've discovered them first. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you where those locations are. Of course, there could be some that appear later on. If you want some more details, then check out the wow head link that I put in the description below. And this is where I got them from. So we're going to go to the first location and where would you go if you didn't know where any of these mole machines were, where would be the first place you look? Of course it would be Black Rock Depths. So as you can see the mole machine is just outside the instance, all you have to do is go up to it, click on it and now it is saved so it will be available for you to use when you want. The next one is in Blasted Lands at Netherguard Keep, you need to talk to the dragon though to set it back to when Netherguard Keep was in the control of the Alliance. Unlike a lot of things, the Mole Machine is not always very visible from very far away. It's located by the targets at the back of the keep itself. Again, right click and we can be on our way. Now in terms of speediness, as we're in the blasted lines, uh, the quickest way to get back here, assuming you're not a mage, would be to go through the portal where of course we can find a portal to Stormwind. Once we're in Stormwind, the final location at the moment at any rate in the Eastern Kingdoms is the Hinterlands, so we're going to head up there. Where else would it be, of course, in the Hinterlands, but by the Dwarvish Fort of Airy Peak, and it's located just outside the main entrance at the ground floor. And so far, those are the Eastern Kingdom ones. Of course, there are likely to be others added. There may even be other ones that are in there and just not been discovered yet. Now, at this point, what I did was to uh, use the Mole Machine so that I can get again back to Stormwind from where I could strike out to another continent to try my luck there. So you can see you select the region first and then the specific place you want to go. You already start off with Stormwind and Ironforge as well as Shadowforge City. Popping up where else but in the Dwarven District. From here you can head into the main Stormwind Keep and take the portal to Dalaran. So from Dalaran you can go directly to the uh, Broken Shore where one of the two Broken Isles locations are it's on the far side, which is, um, you can just see that on the map. And again, you can see how close you have to be before it shows up. But before you ever get to see the mole machine, you do see a little bit of green flashing up, which is where the label above it would be. The second location is in High Mountain. Now it's near Neltharion's Lair, but not quite near the entrance. It's round the backside where the hill giants are. So just fly over the mountain and what you're looking for is the main cave entrance into Neltharion's vault by the giants. And there it is. So again, we just have to land there, click it, and then we're done at the moment in the Broken Isles. Of course, there may be other locations when you're watching this. The link in the description below to Wowhead's page for the locations. So, heading back through portals, I'm going to Kalimdor. Now, at this point, I went through the old Danassus portal. That's probably when it goes live, unlikely to do anything at all, not even drop you on the shore with a bird in Teldrassil. Uh, but I headed to Mount Hygel next, uh, which is the one in northern Kalimdor. There's one to the north of Kalimdor, one in the middle, and one down south. Now, as you pass into Mount Hygel, where you want to be heading for are the Firelands. Now, approaching from this direction, the mole machine itself is it's not close to the entrance, but it is in sight of it on the ground near the rocks on the far side there. So just head over towards the lava sort of edge, and you can just see, again, the little green label flashing up 
before you actually see the mole machine. And that's that one. So the next place we're heading to are the Barrens. And in the rift between the North and South Barrens, head over to the Alliance Fort, which is near the north of the South Barrens. And the mole machine is just outside there. So once you've got the mole machine at the uh, edge of the Alliance Fort here, the final location in Kalimdor so far is going to be Ungaro Crater. So where you're looking for is Fireplume Ridge, which is a rocky area in the middle. And it's at roundabout groundish level, so you just need to fly around the perimeter until you come across it. And there you can see it on the southeast edge of Fireplume Ridge. And at the moment, that's it for Kalimdor. So what I found was the quickest way to get from there to anywhere useful was to go to Theramore Isle. Uh, if you're as clever as I am, you'll arrange for the ship to be arriving just as you do. And from there, you can go to Menethil Harbour. From Menethil Harbour, you can fly up towards Ironforge. And when you're there, go to the Mage area and take the portal to Hellfire Peninsula. From there, we're going to get the ones in Outland. So Blades Edge Mountains, first of all, now in Outland. It's right at the north and pretty much right at the south. So we're going to go pretty much right to the north of Blades Edge Mountains, roughly where that cursor was indicating on the map. Now, it's in an area frequented by the fire elementals, and it's not that straightforward to find, but it is on one of the little platforms that they're stood on, right up against the back. You can just see again the old telltale flash of green. And the other one is right to the south, so it's in Shadow Moon Valley, although it's not right at the south of Shadow Moon Valley. It's actually on the north edge of the mountainy bit in the middle. So you want to be heading for the pool of fell, slime, lava stuff that's on that north face and it's on the left bank as you go down there towards the ground. And once you pick this up, then you're done for Outland. We can head back to Hellfire Peninsula where of course we have the portal to Stormwind again. Thank goodness for all these portals and flying, otherwise where would we be? Now from there, we're gonna to go to Stormwind Keep because we want to go back to Dalaran again, except there's a couple of Dalarans we're gonna visit. We're first of all gonna visit the Legion Broken Isles Dalaran. So returning there, we're going to go to Pandaland. Now there are two in Pandaria. One is in Kunlai uh, Summit, near the one keg area here, as you can see with the, the grummels and places, people like that, shown on the map. Pick up the mole machine, and then it's going to be to the Valley of the Four Winds, where we're going to go to the breweries, located near the dungeon, but it's not actually again near the entrance. We want to go to the far side of it, and we're heading over to this western water wheel. And round the side, you should be able to see there again the mole machine in an unassuming corner on the southwest. Then it'll be back to the shrine because we want to head through a portal, but not to Stormwind this time. We're going to go through Old Dalaran in Northrend. Now, again, there are two locations in Northrend that we want. The first one is going to be in Ice Crown. We want to head towards the Argent Tournament area. We're going to head right to the northern edge of it, and it's on the other side of that far pavilion tent thing on the right hand side of it as we go around. So when you pick this one up, the next place we want to go to is Dragon Blight to the south. And we're heading towards the Ruby Dragon Shrine. Now when you get in here, you may need to fly around the perimeter a little bit because uh, it's going to be on the edge again at round about ground level. Once you've picked it up, heading back to Dalaran so that we can get the portal to Stormwind. Now the final location is not so straightforward. The first time I did it, I thought simply to go to Drenor, the Wallows of Drenor, Drenor, uh, via Blasted Lands and go through the Red Portal. The problem is, of course, when you've just created a Dark Iron Dwarf, it is just possible that you haven't actually completed WOD content and therefore won't be able to pass through the portal without doing the starter quest. So you could always start it all off, of course. But do you really fancy traipsing through all the starter quests just to get there? It's not like you can fly up and away. No, I didn't think so. I didn't want to either. So we head back to Pandaland and we're going to go to the Timeless Isle. Now, where you want to be going is to the eastern edge, ideally by water, if you've got the Azure Strider. However you decide to get there, what you want to do is to come along this ship, just on the sort of southeastern edge there, and swim down, you're looking for an underwater cave. Once you find it, you want to swim inside, of course, 
Now, when you get inside the cave, you'll notice there's a number of things, but there's some chairs. Now, what you need to do is to sit down in the chair, one of them, and then the fireplace becomes clickable. So then you click that, and you will end up in Gorgrond, in Warlords of Draenor area, where you will be able to fly, well, assuming you've got that on your account, and jobs are good. Un. Now, the Gorgrond one is a little bit awkward. We want to be heading over to the Blackrock Foundry area, but it's not in the Orc held area, of course, because you know it wouldn't be. So you want to head over the wall to the south, head towards the orangey colored rocks, and you should see it just there. The other one is located in Nagrand. Now, the Nagrand one is located in the northwest of Elemental Plateau. It's in the Fire Elemental areas. Now what you're looking for is the tree just on the ridge there uh, near the coast. Towards the western edge of the area and there we go, there's the mole machine. And at the moment that is the final one. So I hope you found that useful. If you did don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with others who might also be interested. And until next time, I'll see you later.